friends welcome once again and uh, this is the second question of KCSE 2014 on spreadsheets I have already uploaded the first one which was on one processing if you have not yet checked kindly click the link above here uh, now we are supposed to create a workshop by name in commitment and this is how we are supposed to create it go to new then Microsoft Excel uh, Microsoft Excel then tap enter and then after dividing my screen into two uh, I start feeding the data as required like for example I am supposed to merge a 1 to H2 I have I'm supposed to merge uh, I have to yeah, here it is but I have to maximize the screen so that you may see it well and also ensure that the alignment is at the bottom left bottom left that one then it is in capital letters and bold sales and expenses bold sales and expenses as I'm doing right now yes so what follows is to fill the data as required so for the second question the student is required to use a function that reference only the cells to calculate total cells for january to june therefore under total you are supposed to type uh, uh, is equal sum then into bracket the range of january that is b2 or b5 up to g5 then tap enter likewise for rent you do the same is equals to sum then the range of what b7 up to g7 then tap enter and then autofill i'm gonna copy the formula to the other cells that is for salaries utilities suppliers and consultants if yeah and that's what you get once you're done with that, now we're going to calculate the profit and the profit or loss is usually the sales minus expenses. That's why I'm going to take the sum of uh, B5 minus the sum of all expenses. And after hitting enter, I'll get this number. Now I autofill and this is the result. For the next question, you are required to merge A2 up to H2. And I already did this while they're developing my spreadsheet. The other thing is to make this heading to be 16, font size bolded, and I'm done. Then sex is to apply single line border to all cells containing data. Therefore, I'm going to select all of these cells. Then after that, I, I go to cells format and format cells. From format cells, I'll click format cells then go to borders not numbers but borders outline single line and inline and then okay once you click okay it will be surrounded by borders single line border then align all the right all to the right all the columns headings that is january up to total control you can also click control r control r or else I select one of these options that just like that and then apply a gray background color to all column heading choose the third color there required next is to rename the worksheet as profit so right click right click the sheet one and click rename and type the new name profit then tap enter key or return key now once you're done you're supposed to copy the content of the worksheet name profit to a new worksheet therefore don't select the whole of the worksheet select just that table alone 
only like that then control c or that command control c then click plus to add a new worksheet from the first cell and place make sure the active cell is the first cell then find the best paste in feature which will keep the format in like mine the fourth one no oh, yeah that one will keep the formatting features so after renaming it as modified we ought to continue to the next question and that is uh, to do what um, the company is expected to remit 15 percent of their sales as tax revenue for the uh, company therefore insert a blank row just below sales and rename it as right for right click the cell the row between okay just like that then type sales tax yes i've done then i told compute the sales tax for january using absolute sale referencing to obtain the tax for the other months therefore it will be uh, dollar b dollar 18 times january sales income we are using dollar b dollar 18 to make it absolute so that when we copy it to the february and march the formula won't change that's why we are using the absolute referencing for dollar b dollar 18 that is cell b18 then multiply with a relative cell that is uh, b b5 now b5 yeah then autofill and this is what i'm going to get right once i am done i'm going to find the profit or loss gained after tax therefore just to modify the sum formula which i previously used to get the profit i will just add tax and then autofill the full uh, to the other cells or copy the formula to the other cells then enter after that autofill yeah like that required next is to insert another row just below profit or loss and give it a name like comment yes write comment and then use if function to display comments for the profit or loss as follows so if if a uh, profit or loss is more than 60,000 more than so that is if b16 that is the profit is greater than 60,000 comma in case it brings out you can change the keyboard layout and select english us so comma then uh, these quotations then you type what is written there okay comma if more than thirty thousand or greater than that thousand if it's greater than that thousand see that yes thirty thousand then it should be break even break even otherwise it should be a check so i don't need to use three ifs only two i now then i closed with two brackets then copy the formula to the other cells required create a bar chart to compare the sales and total expenses for each and every month of the six months so therefore it means i need another row of expenses so that i may compare it with sales and um, that's what i am going to do here i have already done and therefore i will select the month sales and expenses then insert select column or a bar chart however i'll get here a series one series two as legend which is not required therefore I'm going to remove it i don't need this one i have learned the mistake so i'll undo 
So the issue is I should select from the first cell of January, just like this one. Then again, I select sales, all of it, from sales label until June, from expenses label until June. Insert. Uh, again, this is what I'm going to get. So let me select from January empty label. It's just like that. Exactly, I get what I want now. So what rema uh, remains is to give this chart a title. So which title is required here? The chart title is Sales Expenses Analysis. Therefore, right click, double click the chart title and give it a name. Sales Expenses Analysis. Next is on the to insert axis, and this is how you insert axis. Just select the chart. Okay. Select the, uh, the plus, then enable axis. You will get axis title, you only need to type the name. Like here, you just type amount, the other one you type uh, axis title. You just type the months. Just type month. For the x-axis you type, you type the amount. Or else, modify the chart's look by selecting and then checking the chart styles. You can choose any of these chart styles. One of the chart styles, these are here, yeah, yeah. here. If I choose this one, it will be okay. okay. The next question is to save the worksheet as comparison. So this chart, I'm going to select it. And after selecting chart design, move chart to another chart, to another worksheet. And the name of worksheet is comparison. Mm -hmm. Oh, unfortunately, I had another chart by that name, but I'll just place it over it and then delete the existing one. So, so for that, let me I select and remove it so that's what i'm expected to have here setting the page into la into landscape that's how we do it and then what for remains is to print the charts like i start with the profit therefore i should make sure that i have selected profit go to file and print select printer then print ensure it is print active sheets then print to print modified i have to select modified and again go to file and print yes now to what else to print modified showing formulas only, select modified, go to file, options, then select advanced. Uh, from advanced, I have to scroll down until where there are formulas and check the formula box. Show formulas instead. And where is it? Here it is. Show formulas in cells instead of the year. Calculated values and here you'll get it. Then go to print direct. Control P and work instead. 
so print that's how it will look like in order to avoid this problem i should go to no scaling and change it to fit all contents in one cell in one sheet then comparison you only need to select the chart and print otherwise thank you for watching the video nice time